Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. I hope you got something out of last week's Q&A episode where I answered your questions. Today I want to talk about superpowers. Not the most powerful and influential nation that exerts influence or authority on a global scale. Not the super speed, super strength, flight, or invincibility that superhero characters like, you know, Spider-Man, Thor, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Captain America have. I am talking about something that every human being on the planet possesses, your personal superpower. And it is not your intuition or your talent or your looks or your charisma or your title or your role in life. Your superpower is the fact that out of the 7 billion people on the planet, nobody is you. I'm going to say that again. Out of the 7 billion people on the planet, nobody is you, and that is your superpower. You are your superpower. God only made one of you. Others may share your name, your gene pool, your space on earth, but nobody thinks, speaks, moves through life, or sees the world from your vantage point quite like you. The mold was broken after God made you, and he made you in his image, and he calls you fearfully and wonderfully made. But God went a step further after creating you. He gave you an assignment to carry out on earth. He made you with intention for a purpose. Your purpose is the thing you were put on earth to do, the contribution to the world only you can make. Because when you do what you were put on earth to do, you create a unique footprint on earth that makes a difference in the trajectory and the lives of the people you are destined to reach. When you live a life of purpose, it gives your life meaning and focus, and that meaning and focus ends up reflecting on the lives of the people you help or serve. Mark Twain says, the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. Your purpose is your why. I call living a life of purpose or fulfilling your God-given assignment your human job, except that, you know, it isn't a nine-to-five gig, but rather a lifetime commitment. And the only way to live a life of purpose is to live a life of authenticity. You have to be willing to be all of who God made you to be. There's a quote, be yourself, everyone else is taken. So if you're questioning the meaning of life or wondering how to make a difference in the world, I am saying to you, activate your superpower. And that is how you will find meaning and make a difference. Find out what you were born to do and do it. Fulfill your purpose. Show up as your authentic self. That is the most meaningful and impactful contribution you can make to the world at large and within your world, your sphere of influence. There's a scripture that says, your gift will make room for you and it'll bring you before great men. However, in order for that to happen, you have to use the gifts, the talents, and the unique abilities and sensibilities that God has given you. Don't settle for becoming what others expect of you or pretending to be something else or someone else or imitating the lives of other people. Be an original. Think about it. An original painting or an original diamond or an original treasure is always worth more than the fake version or a copy. Remember, no matter how much they study you or or try, no one can ever be you. They may imitate your speech or mannerisms, but they don't possess the uniqueness and the nuances of who you are. That is why two people can say the same thing but each will express it differently. 
Have you ever played the game where, you know, everyone stands in a line and the same phrase is passed down to each person? The person next to you whispers the phrase in your ear. You, in turn, whisper the same phrase in the next person's ear and, and so on. By the time the phrase gets to the last person and is revealed, there's always a slight variation or sometimes the phrase is an entirely different one than what, you know, the first person started with. How did that happen? Same message was heard but it was processed and communicated by different people, all of whom move through the world uniquely and differently. There's an expression, own lane, own race, own pace. When you understand that God has a plan for your life, for how and when your purpose for being on earth unfolds, you'll stop comparing yourself and your life to other people because you'll understand that this life is not a competition. Yes, we are all running a race, but we all have different start points, we have different end points, we have different pacing, and we have different routes to get to the finish line. The overall point I'm trying to make today is no one can beat you at being you. No one can be a better you. No one can be you, period. It's like a puzzle. Each piece has to go in the spot designed for it in order for the entire puzzle to make sense and to be complete. So make your unique mark on the world. Use your superpower to change the world. I see your purpose as a, as a cup, you know, filled to the brim with everything you're supposed to do and everyone you're supposed to reach and everywhere you're supposed to go by the end of your life. Make it your mission to empty your cup out so that when your time on earth is over, you know, you won't find yourself going over the many would have, could have, should have scenarios in your mind. Instead, aspire to be, you know, in a place where at the end of your life, you're reflecting on all of the things you, you did to fulfill your purpose and complete your assignment while here on earth. You have breath today in your lungs because you still have work to do. Your earthly assignment is not complete. I encourage you, don't let your children or our youth think that superpowers are reserved for the, you know, the superhero characters that aren't even real. Tell them that they have purpose and that being who they are is their superpower. And then show them how activating your superpower and living a life of purpose can be done by living that in front of them. One of my favorite quotes by Dr. Seuss is, Today, you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. There's another quote that says, I didn't come here to follow someone else's purpose. I came here to fulfill my own. And finally, I want to leave you with and, and share with you something I wrote in uh, 2016 about this very topic. Pastor William T. Clark Jr., taught me the importance of knowing and operating in my God-given purpose and destiny. That teaching changed my life. It helped me to understand that when God formed me in my mother's womb, he designed a specific and unique blueprint for my life. My job is to find that path and follow it. Life really is that simple. No one can beat me at being me. I will never be a good copycat because I was created to be an original. I encourage everyone reading this to be your authentic self. Stop mimicking what you see and what you like in other people and embrace your own uniqueness. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by God and you do not need the approval of men to express who he created you to be. Ask God why you are on earth and then start heading in the direction of your destiny. You are never too old or young to embark on this journey. Your tombstone will show the date your life began and the date your life ended with a dash in the middle. Your legacy or imprint is comprised of what you do with the dash. Have the courage to stand up and be counted for. Stop hiding in the shadows of a life you were never meant to live. The world needs the distinct gifts, talents, and perspective that only you can contribute. I love Dr. Seuss quotes, and one of my favorites is, There is no one alive who is youer than you. Remember, no one can beat you at being you, and you have no competition. 
Joyce Meyer once said, the greatest tragedy would be to spend a lifetime climbing a tree only to find out at the end of your life it was the wrong tree. Determine today that you will not climb the wrong tree following someone else's dream or path. Do you, the one that God made. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.